Congratulations in buying your new Beko washing machine. Before you start washing, it's really important you install the machine correctly. So there's a couple of quick steps we'll cover that'll show you how to make sure the installation's done right. Firstly, you need to make sure you remove the five transit bolts. So we've taken one out already. It does look like this and there'll be five of them located on the machine. Now you do need to wind them out and you do need to make sure you pull out the entire piece so it's also got a rubber end on it that needs to wiggle out of the hole. Once, you're, once you've got all five out, there will be little plastic caps that you can just insert over where the hole is, and that's removal of the transit bolts. That's step one. The next thing we need to do is also remove the foam block that the drum will be sitting on, and that's found at the front of the machine. The next step in installing your washing machine is to remove the foam block that's located under the drum. Now you will find it'll have a sticker like this with a piece of uh, line on it. All you need to do to remove the foam block is have someone help you tilt the machine back and then if we just remove the sticker you will find the foam block should just come on out. All right, we've just removed the foam block from the unit. Once you've taken it out you can obviously take that foam block and throw it away. Now all you need to do is make sure you level your unit up and make sure it's nice and flat and then connect all the hoses, plug it in and you can start washing. Now there's two steps to putting the feet in place. Once you've found your correct level it's important that you tighten the locking nut. Now tightening the locking nut will just prevent the machine from bouncing around and make sure it stays at that level position.